of Isa alayhi salam, which I find very inspiring for myself. And inshallah, I hope that you too will find it very inspiring. When Maryam alayhi salam, when Mary, peace and blessings be upon her, gave birth to baby Isa alayhi salam. Now when we usually hear the story, we understand that the birth of Isa alayhi salam was a miracle. That he was born without a father, he was born miraculously. And so we understand that miracles can happen. But if we scratch deeper beneath the surface, there are a few more things to learn from this story. And so I hope to share with you those few more things very quickly inshallah. Number one, Maryam alayhi salam, she is given a challenge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells her, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends an angel to her and tells her that you are going to give birth to a baby without a husband, without a father. Now Maryam alayhi salam, she is a woman of noble status. She is a woman people used to look up to, a pious woman. And so now Maryam alayhi salam, she has to go give birth to this baby without family, on her own, give birth to this baby and bring this baby back to the people and tell her, and I want you to really imagine that you are, you know, the friends of Maryam alayhi salam, right? You are in her time and your friend, she comes to you and she tells you that, yeah, I gave birth to a baby miraculously. This is the challenge she's given. No one's going to believe her. So number one challenge, in life we face challenges. We all face challenges. And so Maryam alayhi salam, she's given a challenge. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells her to go and give birth to this baby. But on top of that, He tells her, shake the date palm tree and dates will fall down and eat from those dates. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have made this challenge easy. He could have just gave her the baby. He could have sent an angel and just gave her the baby. He didn't have to make her go through labor. And on top of that, he tells her, shake this tree and you'll eat from this tree to have the energy to sustain the labor. He tells her that you have to work. And so what we learn from this is that when challenges, we are faced with challenges, we have to put in work, work to overcome these challenges. Number two, she has to put in work. There's no way you're going to overcome a challenge without putting in work. So that's what she does. And she gives birth to this baby. And then what happens? Baby Isa, he's born. And she goes back to the people. And the people look at her. Ya Maryam! Oh Maryam! You know, what an atrocious thing you have done. What have you done? Oh, sister of Harun. Your father, your mother, they were not like this. What have you done? You have brought in baby. You have committed adultery, fornication. Right? This, these are the thoughts, assumptions going through the people's minds. And this was a woman of noble and high status. And now her status is all the way down within an instant. And then she points to the baby. So I want you to understand she's trapped. She got a challenge. She worked hard, but now she's trapped in a corner. And she has, you know, she's overcome the challenge of giving birth to the baby. But now the people are looking at her in disgust. And so she points to the baby. And then the baby speaks. Baby Risa Islam speaks. And she testifies. For his mother. <laughs> that I am the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he testifies for his mother. And gets her innocence back. And the people are amazed. That this is a baby who was born miraculously. And Mary alayhi salam. She did not come in fornication. She is still noble. And in fact her status has even elevated before. From what it was before. And so what we learn from this, we learn that when we face challenges, we have to work hard to overcome them just like Maryam alayhi salam. But even when we work as hard as we want, sometimes things don't go the way that we expected. They don't go the way we planned. And so even though you may feel trapped in a corner or trapped, dug in a hole, even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to make a baby speak for you, even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to split the sea for you like he did for Musa alayhi No matter what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do for you, as long as you trust in Him. So I hope you can take these three things, challenge, work, and trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and knowing that He will provide for you a way out. Inshallah, I hope that you will take these things and keep them in your mind. Jazakumullah khair for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.